All right, we're back here at Beamer Sun Garage. Uh, we left you on the last video. Uh, welcome back, all my subscribers and, and viewers. Uh, we left you on the last video of uh, showing you how to chunk a, a motor, and we had to get it in the back of the truck, and we did it. So there it is, it's in the back of the truck. So we did exactly what we said we were going to do. We pulled it. Uh, you know the whole rig forward dragging the motor and the transmission we used a cherry picker uh, to raise up the engine and we set it you know we backed back under like we said we was going to do we dropped it in there we uh, unbolted the transmission and that's where the transmission ended up at but we're in a dilemma uh, this is a basically a weight ratio uh, dilemma we're in here they get you get paid by the, by, by the ton okay that's how scrapping and junking works so you get a vehicle, you know, you got up a title for it, uh, you know, you want to, you know, junk it right. So you want to take the taillights out, remove all the bulbs, you know, take all the fuses out, take anything that's usable that you can use in another car. Pull the radiator. This one's already pulled. The condenser's going to come out. There's a starter on it, which I think's good. That's still got to come off. And so you take every, you know, the radio, you know, you take anything out of it that's any good. The radio is already gone. Um, pull all the fuses out, you know. When you get done, basically, you want to have a vehicle with no aluminum, uh, no usable parts like fuses and bulbs. You know, I pulled all the bulbs out of the headlights, all the marker lights. Uh, pulled the grill out, what's left of it. And like I told you, this is a this is a weight game. So, you know, the more you take off, the less it's going to weigh. So you want to put weight back in it. And that's what it's about. And it's, it's all a weight game. So there's the balancer. And it weighs. But the dilemma I got right now, as you can see here, is I'm telling you, I'm trying to explain to you how to junk a vehicle. Uh, you know, you've got to compact everything. So the engine's sitting to, at the end of the bed. And I'm going to have to drag it forward. Well, rather than, you know, try to manhandle it, which, you know, the tools of the trade uh, are right here. You know, a good spud bar... Is a good tool to have, you know, uh, you know, some sockets, some wrenches. Well, not the wrenches, but the, the you know, the, the ratchets, uh, some impacts. Uh, you know, I got some battery operated ones here. A good screwdriver, good Phillips, you know, a pair of cutters. Uh, my favorite tool is a DeWatt. <laughs> Saws all. Battery operated. I think I gave like 80 bucks for that. And that has been one of my favorite tools around here. I just love that tool. <laughs> yeah. Roadkill all the way. <clears throat> so we got a winch cable hooked to it and we're going to show you how we're going to make room you know rather than break your back my son was supposed to come yesterday he didn't want to come he was he was afraid your dad was going to put him to work and i tried to explain to him you know i'm smarter than your average joe so i'm going to use the equipment and machines i got around here to make these jobs easier so as you can see we've got the cable still uh, well, we got the, the chain still hooked to the engine, and we got the winch cable off the wrecker going through the back window, through the side window, and up to the truck. So let's see if my uh, my idea is going to work. Oh look, I ain't never done this before. <laughs> Probably got to move a couple things here to. Make it a little easier here. Put the hood down, maybe that'll be a that'll be a good start. Sorry, my buddy. Uh, okay. Now Let's see if that engine comes forward. Is it gonna come off and smack me in the teeth? <laughs> that won't be the first time. Okay, there we go. You can see it's working. It's dragging up. Oh, she just fell over. Oh, got to put it in park. The whole vehicle's moving. <laughs> put it in park. There we go. It's in park. Try it again. Oh, boy. <laughs> Must not be a dry shaft in it or something. <laughs> Let's see here. Make shift parking sound. There we go. There 
we go. Now, she goes to the back. Now she's midway. Now we've got room for that transmission. So it's working just like I said it would. <coughs> we're winners here at Beamer and Sun Garage. We're winners. So now we'll get this uh, transmission. We'll, we'll drag it over here. We'll pick it up with a cherry picker. And we'll set that right in the back. And, of course, like I told you, the reason is, is this is a weight game. You get paid by the ton. So the more you make this thing weigh, the more money you're going to make. So we're, we're, you know, we're expecting a pretty good day today. You know, once we get this thing all loaded up, then we're going to take it on to the scrapper in the sky and get paid. So, yeah, Beaver and Sun Garage is going to get paid. And that's what we're about here. You know, we're about here, you know, naturally make money, show you guys how to make money. You know, try to explain it to you. You know, when you get done with one, you know, the tail light should be gone. You know, uh, I used to take all the wiring out. And I did a lot of stuff back in the day uh, that I thought actually paid good. But they've kind of cut back on that. Doesn't pay as good. You know, I used to rip all the wiring out and then I'd burn the wire. And then I'd get paid for what they call burnt wire. And it just doesn't pay really. It's not really worth it anymore to do all that. To rip all the wiring in the car then you know try to cash that in it's just it's not paying so we're not doing that no more but that's it just try to show you guys you know how to make a dollar here you know when you're drunk in a vehicle so i've been talking about doing this for a long time uh dave stockman i told him about you know i'll do it sometime i do it someday and i'll show you you know how to junk a car and i'm showing you so that's it here at beamer and sun garage uh we want to thank uh you know our friends uh scott wilson Give him a shout out, uh, Bethel Tire. Uh, give him a call for all your tires and repair needs. Scott Wilson, Wilson's Auto and Truck, Bethel Tire out of Bethel, Ohio. Phone number is 513-734-4900. Give Scott a call. You talk to Pops. Tell him Beamer and Garage, Beamer Garage sent you for all your tires and front end alignments and all your brake needs, all your mechanical needs. Give him a call. Uh, Jamie Phillips, too. Check him out. Uh, action auto parts he's out of kentucky stanford kentucky check him out of course our friends at uh you know scott speed shop jed and his father michael check those guys out and that's it uh we'll see you next time and uh adam oxer i appreciate you buddy keep watching and then we're gonna hopefully get together and shoot a video with some quads and get together with some uh with our friend scott he's got some he's got a utv that's pretty neat a couple of them maybe we can get together and do some riding and have some fun but we're working right now so you know to all our subscribers you know we got 715 we appreciate every one of you guys <clears throat> and we'll see you next time on the channel and remember it's beamer and sun garage forever and all the ones i mentioned and the rest never we'll see you next time guys see you then